There's a new text to video AI generator that you're going to want to try and what it can do is simply mind blowing. Just take a look at some of these examples here. Here's a boy eating gyoza dumplings and finally we've got a generative AI video tool that can actually generate five fingers. Here's a close up of a parrot on an early morning, a special forces soldier in a bar shootout, a dog swimming in a pool creating ripples, and a sports car on a road at high speed that's cinematic. Pretty cool, right? Well, all of these were generated using a relatively new AI model called Kling, developed by a Chinese tech giant Kuaishou Technology, excuse my pronunciation. It was actually launched back in June and was only accessible if you had a Chinese phone number. But now it's available globally. It's meant to rival OpenAI's Sora, which has yet to release. Now, with Kling, you can generate five second video clips on a free plan and up to a whopping three minutes on their paid plans. You get 66 free credits daily so long as you log in. Now, to start using Kling and generate text to video, head to the link in the description box below. That'll take you to Kling AI and then you'll be on your dashboard. Make sure you sign up, of course. And once you're here, head to either AI videos, which uh, is what I'll be focusing on in this video. Head there. And then you'll see this prompt window where you describe, of course, what video you want the AI to generate, just like most generative AI tools. Now, the great thing about Kling is they give you up to 2,500 characters to describe what you want. So you can be very detailed, very specific in your text prompt. Down below, you've got some settings and you can move the slider and focus more on the creativity versus the relevance of your prompt. And it will make a slight difference to the output of your video. Now the mode, this is dependent on whether you have a paid plan or not. If you simply have a free plan, you're stuck with the standard mode and the professional mode will give you enhanced video uh, quality. As stated on the points here, you can see evaluated to have better instruction following, higher image quality, stronger dynamic consistency, and a significant overall improvement in text to video and image to video generation compared to the standard mode. Just to demonstrate the difference between standard mode and professional mode and what it can output Output, I generated the same uh, video, but one is in standard mode, one is in professional mode, right? So this right here, here's the prompt of a close up, a Chinese child is eating dumplings, and I set it to standard. Right here is what it uh, produced. If you take a look at the professional mode version, it just looks more realistic, there's more detail. It almost looks lifelike, which, you know, is what it does a good job of. But again, the professional mode is only available on paid plans, All right? We'll talk about pricing and plans later on, but down below, let's continue. We've got the length of the video. You can generate it up to five seconds on a free plan, but if you want to generate longer length of videos, then you need to upgrade as well. Continuing on, we've got frame ratio. So depending on where you want to use the media, the asset is going to be uh, determined by that. So 16-9 ratio or 9-16 or a square. So they give you those options. And there's this pretty cool feature that lets you uh, control the camera movement. So if we go here, camera control, we can choose horizontal kind of camera control. We've got vertical zooming or panning, tilting, rolling, a master shot. So this can all be adjusted. Let's say we want to zoom. We can adjust then the zoom amount like so. You can see the difference and we can then generate our video based on this specific camera movement. The credits that will be deducted will be determined by the length of the video that you choose. But with the free access uh, account, you're only given five seconds anyway. So it's 35 credits there. Bear in mind that I've selected professional mode. If we switch to standard mode, it is less, taking off just 10 credits. Right here is where you can extend the existing generated video. So you can auto extend it, which just means that it will automatically extend it based on what it can do uh, and its model. Or you can use a customized extended uh, feature, which you can then describe your creative idea. You can download your generated video by simply clicking on the download button right here. So that's the how-to on using Kling. Now I wanna show you something. I wanted to compare OpenAI's Sora video that was generated 
uh, on their website. And you might have seen this. It's quite an infamous uh, video clip that uh, Sora had generated. And a lot of creators also talked about this and used this as an example. Now, you can be the judge whether OpenAI Sora can actually do this, but I'll play this. You can see what it generated. This is also text to video. So Kling, as I mentioned, is a competitor and they try to rival uh, OpenAI Sora uh, with their technology. But take a look at this, really realistic. I loved what I saw, it's pretty mind blown. So what I did was I uh, copied the exact prompt over to Kling. You'll see it right here, the prompt. I just left all the settings as is. I didn't wanna focus on creativity or relevance, and I simply selected 10 seconds so I can get more of a video clip from this. And this is the output, this is what you see. Now, based on this example, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You can see that the details aren't as sharp, aren't as clear, and uh, just overall, the effects you know, you've got the reflection there on the floor, the ground, uh, the people, the pedestrians, they're not as clear as well. I know it's the camera effect, but taking a look back at the Sora example, you can see there's a, at least some faces there you can see. But more so, the main character of the video is a lot more detailed, including the clothes that she's wearing. And it even added this segment here where there's a real close up of her and you know, there's blemishes there, which makes it even more realistic. Whereas with Kling's output, you know, it's a little mushy there and uh, it's, I would say, good enough for now since OpenAI Sora is not yet released. What I also did was I regenerated the exact same prompt, but this time I chose relevance as the main priority. And this is what it came up with. It's pretty similar. I mean, take a look at this and take a look at the first initial one. This one I would say is much better uh, in terms of detail, especially on the face there. But I hope that's giving you a good comparison between OpenAI's Sora and Kling's AI model. Going back to pricing at the time of this recording, they've got this 50% off you know, flash sale. I went ahead and went with the yearly 60 bucks only and you get this amount of credits. And of course, all of the benefits here with video length up to three minutes. And hey, if you simply want to try it out and use some of the paid features, why not just go monthly? It's just five bucks a month. You can always cancel anyway. One other feature of Kling that I want to briefly show you is Kling's text to image uh, tool. So you enter your prompt and what I entered was a warm and cozy home office with a man working on his laptop enjoying the view of nature. And this is what he came up with. Pretty good, really detailed. I like how bright, how uh, detailed it is, especially with the bokeh. You know, there's this blurry black background going on. Lots of uh, warm and cozy features there, which is what I prompted it to produce. There's some other options here where you can add a reference image to uh, have the AI reference to so that you can generate something based on that. You've got different sizes as well. It will generate four variations and if you like one of them, what you can do is use it as reference and then you can keep reprompting, generating new images or you can bring it to life. And what Kling will do is then take it to its text to video tool like this and then it, you can generate and use those settings once again. And this right here is what it generated. So I'll play it. So it's moving, it's a moving image, pretty cool. And you can do this uh, using its text to image tool. Now over to you, what are your thoughts on Kling and what it can produce? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to know. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.